Hi, in this video I'll be making two small round coffee table, one with American black walnut, another one with Tasmanian oak. The Tasi oak I got is pretty straight, so I'm just skip planning it. And using table saw to cut out the defects. The boards are quarter long, so the grain looks very clean. Moving on to black walnut, I'm using sliding table saw to cut them to length. The fence there is for reference only, I'm not actually pushing the timber against it, which could be very dangerous. Then I'm using jointer to get one face flat. It doesn't have to be fully flat as long as it's enough for the thickness. And back to the jointer to get the perpendicular face. Then I cut the last remaining side on the table saw. Then use the router with a circle jig to cut the circle out. I use a jigsaw to cut the waste out, I forgot to record. Here I'm using a flush trimming bait to get the remaining waste off. This is the actual speed. Here I'm cutting the walnut legs. The piece I got is pretty twisted. So I suspect there's a bit tension in it, so I'm cutting from both sides to avoid jamming the blade. Here I'm cutting another set of legs. This timber is Marco Kappa, if I'm not wrong. Not sure if I pronounced that right. Back to the jointer to get them straight. It's always nervous to joint the small pieces. It's awkward to use push block and you have to really use your hand. Then use the table saw to cut them square. Here I'm building a simple jig for using rotor to rot out the mortise on the legs. I'm showing a mistake that I made. I thought if I be careful I should be able to do it, but a rotor slipped and damaged the jig. Then I'm taking another approach. I'm using hollow chisel mortise to get the mortise out before using the router. You may be confusing about the joinery at this point, but if you continue to watch, you will find out. With the mortise in the middle, I could carefully put a router bed inside and rot out the rest. I could use a big plunge rotor to avoid this problem, but uh, I feel for a small modus, I don't like to pull out the big one. Maybe I should buy a fast to the mid-range rotor for this kind of job. Here you can see how the modus looks.
I'm cutting the stretchers for the legs. This is the same Tasmanian oak left from the tabletop. Then cutting them to the same length on sliding table saw. Cutting the tendon on the stretchers. I'm using a cross cutting slat on a table saw with a stop block. I'm using the table saw fence as a guide. I'm using a round over bit to round the legs. Then flip 90 degree to get another edge round. While you're watching this boring yet satisfying process, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Remember the four corners on the motors left over by the rotor bit? I'm using the same radius round over bit to round over the stretcher so the round corners fit together. There are some marks on the legs left by the rotor bed. I'm using a Japanese ground plan to clean it up. Now it's time for glue up. Here I'm checking the leg and the stretcher are 90 degree or not and adjust it if necessary before the glue dry. I'm marking the location of the legs. I'll be drilling holes on the tabletop. The top part of the leg will go through the tabletop, so the tabletop is actually sitting on the stretcher. I'm using a 45 degree router bit to chamfer the edge. I'm not using a round over bit as a, it's already a round tabletop. I think the 45 degree bit gives a little bit sharper look, so everything is not too round. Here I'm using a hand plan to clean up the tabletop. It is a Chinese hand plan but it's a unique style originates from Suzhou area. Normally the shaving come out on top of the blade, but this style has a separate opening for the shaving injection. I think the Chinese style hand plan is really underrated. It does not have enough recognition from the world woodworking community. This quarter swan Tasmanian oak comes out really nice after planning. 
I could finish it straight away without sanding. Now it's time for airing a logo. Last step is finishing up with some Osmo oil. Thanks for watching.